start with it. Sure. Do you mind being on camera? No, or? not at all. All right, this is Waylon here, and I have the best view ever, but we'll wait for one second, and we'll introduce my buddy. Mortimer. Mortimer, and what's your last name? <laughs> Capriles. Capriles, and you're the... Environmental system manager. Okay, so you're in charge of making sure that this amazing hotel behind us, yes. which looks pretty new, but is very old, right? A lot of it. 127 years. Yeah, so it's a very historic hotel. Um, uh, making sure that it's in harmony with what we're going to turn around and look at which is that. So a lot of people have seen this view, which is just kind of uh, mind-stopping. It's just stunning. And uh, I get to have a bedroom, thank you, to Davina, <laughs> that overlooks all of that. So maybe I'll hand this sure. over. If you see any comments you feel like I should answer, or I we can. should answer, you can Woo, Hi, everybody. Oh, yeah, you can. I'm going to turn yeah. it around there here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> all right, so let's, yeah, let's stand right here. So, um, a lot of hotels have what you have in my hotel room, which is a little tag that says, we try to be environmentally responsible, so uh, don't use too many towels or something like that. Yeah. Um, closer? Yes, just a little bit. So, there. you guys have that, but you do a lot more than that. Yeah. When I see that in hotels, it's usually the only eco thing they do. So, what, what eco stuff does Fairmont Chateau Lake Louise do? So, we have something called the No Net Negative Environmental Impact. So that's an agreement we have with Parks Canada. Uh -huh. So we have a water limit. With the national park system here? Just with this okay. section of the national park. With Banff National Park. National, yeah, yeah. Uh, and so we have a water limit set up by Parks Canada. We have an energy limit set up by Parks Canada as well. But we are the only hotel, we check the water quality of that lake uh -huh. three times per year. Uh -huh. So we go to the lake with a canoe, we take samples from the lake, we do the same with the creek, the Louis Creek, and we do the same with the Bow Valley River. Uh -huh. So we check the water quality three times per year just to make sure that the water quality is pristine. So that you're not affecting the water quality. Exactly. Right. And the water quality is pristine. It's like the best water quality you can find in Canada for sure. And also um, we have a sensor device installed in the middle of the lake that checks the, cha checks the change in the level of the lake. Mm -hmm. And we have a device in the boat house that I can show you later that records all this information, and this information is provided to Parks Canada. So, so we in a very direct way, you're not polluting your immediate environment. Exactly. We don't use any herbicide or, or pesticide, so at all. On any Zero. of the landscaping? None. Wow. And we have That's just pretty amazing. So no pesticides, no herbicides. Herbicides. It's not allowed. And we have just native plants from the upper Lake Louise area. And so a lo lot of people don't re realize because pesticide use is so common, but it kills the bees, kills right? Kills everything, yeah. Right, and do you do some local gardening here? Any local food? I so know it might be tough with all the snow. We have a project for this year. We're going no. to have a, a small garden in the hotel. Uh -huh. it's going, we're going to grow basil. Mm. That is going to be used in Lago, in the uh -huh. Italian kitchen we have in the hotel. Uh -huh. So we can oh, grow... Lago is one of the restaurants? Yes, right. it's the Italian restaurant. It's going to open in summer. So we should be growing basil locally, organic and sustainable basil. And a lot of the Fairmont hotels do local food, right? Yes, yeah. yes. In this case, we have the challenge because we're going to grow fruits right. because we have a lot of wildlife yeah. around the hotel, so we have to be careful. What kind of wildlife is around here? So we have grizzly bears, black bears, elks, um, pikas, uh, pine marines, right. so a lot. Yeah, you had me at grizzly bears. It's <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> We're in the heart of the Banff National Park. This is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and we take care of that. We take pride of all the wildlife we have in this place, of the beautiful surroundings. And so, okay, we have this no net negative environmental impact program. So two quick questions, yes. sort of off the subject, but you can canoe and kayak when it's warmer. Right? Yes, in summer. And you can. It's um, a beautiful experience. And you have some big ice palace kind of thing in the winter, right? Yeah. So, funny thing, like. The water in this lake yeah. comes from all these glaciers. And it's like turquoise, it's exactly. greenish almost. Emerald. Because of the minerals that come from the glacier. Yeah. Yeah. So you have all this water coming from the glacier. So we drink, we consume glacier water. Wow. The water that you have here in the hotel when you take a shower is glacier water. Wow. And it's like I told you, the best water quality that you can imagine. It's heated up a little bit. Yes. <laughs> uh, so I just want to encourage anyone who's watching, is the connection okay? It's fantastic. To ask any questions you have Great, yeah. of Mortimer. And um, 
uh, and say where you're tuning in from. That's our little tradition. So we have um, a state-of-the-art water treatment plant mm -hmm. that belongs to the hotel. We provide water to Parks Canada, Deer Lodge, and Timberline Tours as well. Yeah. And the idea of the water treatment plant is to remove the minerals. Uh -huh. Because the water is in perfect shape, but we need to remove the minerals. Uh -huh. Because it's coming from that mountain, right? So you can imagine the glacier just in contact with the mountain. Wow. It brings a lot of minerals. And, and there's avalanches <laughs> happening all the time. And there's some old historic tea houses up here, right? Yeah. So we have one here, the Lake Agnes Tea House. Yeah. And then we have the Plain of Isis Glacier Tea House. Right. Great chocolate cake, just in case. Really? Wow. After you've gone hiking for yeah. for wow. four hours, you get chocolate cake. Wow. Yeah, I like that. That's One hundred percent recommend. Okay, so back to eco stuff. Yeah. So we have all that. Um, here is the hotel, and right now we're working to replace all the CFLs <gasps> bulbs with LED. Mm. So the goal is to have like. Oh, you can walk through. You're. you're <laughs> Come on through. Yeah. Hey, how are you? <laughs> we have people from Latvia watching us right now. <laughs> all right. All right. So the plan is to have like 100% of the hotel with LED light bulbs. Okay. So that's going to happen pretty soon. And this is another instance where if you get warm LED and it looks historic, it uh, can save you money too. It yeah. can last for 40 years or something. Exactly. So right now, 99% um, of the hotel use energy efficient light bulbs, uh -huh. but a section of those ones are CFLs. Uh -huh. So right now, what we want to do is like we want to replace all those ones with LED. Right. So that's going to happen in 2017 for sure. Also, we have the project of uh, we're, we're planning to install new shower heads. Mm. So the ones we currently have, they consume 9.5 liters per minute, and we're going to install new ones that consume just 6.6. .6. Wow. So it still has good water pressure and and yeah. we're going to still exactly provide a right. good, good water pressure and we're going to provide a good yeah. Guest experience, yeah. but at the same time we want to save water. I, I love that because um, often people think being an environmentalist or doing something no. eco is sacrifice. Sometimes it is, but here at a hotel you obviously want a luxurious experience. Yeah, and we have tested these shower heads yeah. and they work just fine. You tested them at length? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's good research. Yeah, yeah, so we are going to store also tap aerators in all faucets. Uh -huh. These nice. ones are going to allow the hotel to save a lot of water as well. Right. Um, Would you ever do stuff like uh, composting in the restaurants? Or? So, here in the National Park, that's not allowed. Right. Because if you use compost, like in your gardens, you're going to attract a lot of wildlife. But you could send the compost yeah, out. Yeah, to Calgary. Like, you don't dispose of your trash here. You can send no, it no, out no, with yeah, your yeah. trash. So, yeah. one uh, fact, we recycle more than 60%. Uh -huh. hotel right now and we want to increase that. Uh -huh. So we recycle a styrofoam, uh -huh. which is not easy at all to recycle. We recycle plastic of plastic, hard plastic. Yeah, Canada's pretty good. Yeah. My mom, the waste. my mom lives over in Halifax, whatever direction that is. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> that way? <laughs> <laughs> and um, and she has like six little bins and but it's pretty easy. Well somehow. we have like twenty here. Wow. And let me explain you why. Like usually if you live in a city like Toronto, you're going to have one bin for recycling, one for organics, one for waste. Here we have like 20 because we recycle, cigarette waste. Uh -huh. So all the cigarette butts uh -huh. from all the outdoor containers around the lake, the hotel, residence, they are collected and they are shipped to Ontario. Yeah. And they are used to, they are composed and the plastic from the packaging that's used to transform soft plastic into hard plastic. All the money we receive from that is donated to the high school in Canmore. So we get money from that program. In, in a town nearby, yes. Canmore. Canmore. Nice. And wow. we also recycle natural corks. So all the natural corks from all our restaurants are recycled. That year we recycle more than 20,000 natural right. corks. Yeah, so here's a little plug for, no pun intended, for cork. Um, cork is one of the greenest possible materials. Yes. It composts, you can recycle it, um, and it it's renewable, you know, you can mm -hmm. take the cork off the tree, it provides jobs, and it provides the cork forests in Spain or wherever they are. Portugal, yeah. Portugal, Portugal. provide habitat for wildlife, so yeah. don't do the plastic cork. Exactly, no, in this case, the good thing is that it's not just about the environment. Right. We're helping companies in Ontario to mm. make more jobs, to produce jobs. Mm. So these companies, they hire people, they pay taxes. Right. So it's not just about the environment. Right. It's also about, it's about people. the people, right? Living yeah. in Ontario, like, that's awesome. Yeah. Mattresses. We recycle mattresses, a uh, box springs. How do you do that? That's interesting. So